Hi everyone, welcome back to Mama's Orchids and Backyard. I hope everyone is doing well this week. The rain has finally slowed down in my area to about every few days um, of rain shower and the temperature has also dropped about 5 to 10 degrees in the morning, but then it's hot again in the afternoon, but it's bearable. It's in the mid 90s. The rain did give me a few rotting situation about two weeks ago and I mentioned that um, one of the brassavolas had black rot and here's um, some videos of that situation again uh, as we talk about it. Um, it turns out that I had done a video on black rot uh, about three years ago and I had black rot on a uh, Cattleya hybrid and I lost the entire plant because I reacted too late um, since the rod had come from the base and so it was harder to catch. At the time, I used um, hydrogen peroxide and consent 20. When um, I had treated it, um, I soaked it in a solution consent 20. Uh, and consent 20 is a cousin of Fizan 20, basically the same type of fungicide. Well, since this is such a hot topic, especially in rain season, let's do another discussion on it. I'm in the Texas Gulf Coast area and um, it rains very often this time of year and I usually get the black rot this time of year. Um, and in the past, I normally had my orchids in a covered per pergola. And um, so the rain didn't affect it as much as it did this year because everything this year is not under cover at all. And if you grow orchids outdoor, of course, this is much more prevalent um, for us because fungus um, is more prevalent outdoor and it's on the ground level and it gets carried by the wind um, and weather. Black rot on orchids um, it's, are specifically caused by uh, a fungus, a couple of fungus actually, and um, it's called, let me see if I can say this name correctly, Pythium ultimum and Phytophytora cattorum. You know, remember how fungus uh, reproduce by spore, which are very lightweight and they need moisture to survive as most organisms do. So the fungus was already, uh, sometimes already on the plant, but uh, that are carried by wind and, um, and mainly lifted up from the ground. So this is more of a problem for us growers who grow outdoors than indoors. And uh, fungus are such a big problem for us. Um, remember the other fungus that um, we know about, the one that caused uh, Fusarium wilt? Um, to prevent black rot, I was going to remind myself to spray concentrated soap on the orchids around um, early September and I forgot to do it. So, and my rain season usually comes about mid-September, but it came earlier this year than normal and it started like late August. And about two to three weeks ago, I found several um, orchids uh, with black rots on it and I cut off all the black leaves as soon as I could. Um, and uh, I, I guess when it rains so much, we really need to inspect um, the orchids every day. Um, besides uh, spraying uh, pre preventative uh, measures and uh, so but anyway the um, I found them on brassavolas this year mostly then I sprayed it with hydrogen peroxide right away um, after I cut out all the black rot that I sh could see and I would cut it towards the base um, almost towards the base um, and one of the other immediate things I did was I moved the orchids that were affected um, to an undercover area to prevent it from getting more rained on. Um, and then um, I believe after I um, spray the hydrogen peroxide one of the days that I showed you, um, the next day I still saw some more black rod, uh, rot. And so I went ahead and sprayed it with concentrated soap. And um, I used uh, Ajax soap because it's what I had. And I used three spoons uh, of soap um, for in about two cups of water. And incidentally, the dark uh, leaves that you see here are burnt spots from um, another year of, um, of there's just really direct sun on it. But um, if you look at the back of the leaf, it's not burnt. And so it's not black rot. I know it's hard to see on the camera. 
uh, and then I just sprayed it for about three to four days every day. And so far, it seems to have worked. Um, it slowed it down quite a bit. I haven't lost a plant, but I would still see like one or two little areas where I may not have cut it all the way down, um, where it may rot it some more. Now, um, alcohol and hydrogen peroxide are very effective in killing germs such as bacteria, virus, and many other microbes like fungus. And I think it didn't work completely on black rot for me because um, I'm not actually sure on this, but I think the fungus had already penetrated through the cell wall on the plant. So um, the um, hydrogen peroxide and alcohol only worked on the surface area. And so we needed um, either to cut away to keep it from spreading or to use something much more that would penetrate the cell wall to uh, attack the fungus. So that's just my theory, of course. Um, I, um, I think soaking the organ in fungicide probably works better, but um, I wasn't comfortable in using any more of the Consent or Fizen 20. Um, so, um, so I think that um, this soap uh, does work uh, well for me. And in hindsight, it's possible that um, the cell walls of these particular plants aren't very well developed because of, you know, so shortage of uh, calcium, magnesium, possibly. And so it lend itself to a higher risk of uh, infection. And going forward for a preventative measure, I've got to remember to put this on my calendar to spray soap or even possibly uh, neem oil um, as a coating, uh, co a cover, basically, um, during rain season. It was just some ideas for me next year. And um, black rot seems to tend to happen more to fleshy, succulent-like um, plants like cactus. So the brassavola has a really thick fleshy leaf. Um, so I'm wondering if it's happening more to the Brassophilas. And see, I'm catching myself. I'm trying not to say Brassophilas because it's hard to train yourself to fix what you've been doing all these years. But anyway, it's, um, I'm wondering if it's happening more to the Brassophilas because um, the leaves are thick and succulent and um, it may have a thinner cell wall. Um, and it's storing a lot of moisture inside. Okay, well, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know if you're having the same issue and what you've done. Um, and I hope you uh, have success with your remedy. And I want to share with you a couple more things. Um, one is I found this really cute, um, beautiful Phalaenopsis uh, card at Target. Um, so neat that uh, they're making Phalaenopsis card now. And the other thing is I've got my fall seed uh, vegetable garden started. Uh, finally, I'm a little bit late. Uh, I was hoping to get it in the ground already when it was in rain season, um, but uh, it's okay. I've, um, I'm going to be able to grow all this stuff um, all winter long. Um, and uh, I'm going to have a cover on, uh, on my hoop house that I made this year. So, alrighty. Okay, have a good day everyone. Thanks for joining me on this video. Bye-bye.